Oh, oh, hey, y'all, hey. Um, I'm feeling very fancy today. Very fancy, very shoeless, and also a little bit ashy. But that's besides the point. I want to show y'all what my sewing output has been here in the Sunset Studio. Spoiler alert, it's been very noir, and it's been very top secret. I'm living a spy versus spy kind of life up in here these past six months. Let's go. This old thing is a new performance gown for my gig as the lead vocalist for the Mark Morris Dance Group's evening length work, The Look of Love, which has music by Burt Bacharach. And even if you think you don't know Burt Bacharach, you know Burt Bacharach, okay? Basically, I play um, Dionne Warwick, Aretha Franklin, Dusty Springfield, any number of queens who have lent their vocals to Burt Bacharach and Hal David's masterpieces, which means I ain't about to go up in there in just some little thing. No. This is the second concert gown that I've made for the Mark Morris Dance Group performances. I am standing on tiptoe now so that you can get the full effect. I do wear these when I'm actually um, performing, but not always. Sometimes I ditch them right before my bow on stage because um, she's a lot. She's a lot of stiletto. All of these noir looks are my own pattern, and all of these pieces are interchangeable. Uh-huh, because sewing is a superpower, and when you can sew, you can change your costume every, um, every day, every couple days, every couple hours, if you want. This little bodice separates from this skirt. This belt can go with the next look that I'm about to show you. Oh, you know, my, my side swoop here needs a little, a little assistance, okay? So this is completely different bodice with the skirt. And I could put my bow belt back on with it and have this little, this little look, or I could change it up to this gigantic bow. Now, I usually like to place it so the slit kind of goes, you know, with the drape of the bow. But this look, I think, is even better with my next skirt, my interchangeable pieces. You know I love a bow mint. The bow changes up the look, the bodice changes up the look, the skirt changes up the look. You know what, I can't deal with that ash anymore. Just hold on a second, please. Oh my goodness. How dare you get on camera in front of people like this? Self-care. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now there's a slit, all right? There we have it. Um, it turns out I love black. I never would have thought it of me. I'm a very technicolor kind of gal, but this is my third concert gown. And I plan on making probably six more, probably a dozen more when I'm done with it because I want options. It's good to have options so you can coordinate bonus points to whoever gets that reference. Let me know down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. You got to coordinate. I don't think I'm going to have the time to make a new gown before Santa Barbara, but luckily I have my interchangeable pieces so I will feel like I'm in a brand new gown. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna throw all these dates down below in the box because listen, come out, come out and enjoy an hour of dance and beautiful music and happiness. Everyone leaves happier than when they came in. And if you do come, please run on down to the orchestra pit at the end of the hour long performance because I would love to say hello to you after I've taken my bow. This happened in Urbana. I met a wonderful sewist and we talked for like, I don't know, 15 minutes after the show and we were just all giggles and smiles. I love it when singing and sewing converge and we get to um, meet over those mutual passions. All right, come on out now. Let's see. This little summery eyelet was meant maybe for, I don't know, a Jacob's Pillow concert gown. But then I got the brief for a wedding rehearsal dinner and we were to wear all black. Rob had no black, so. I lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> Timing, we got it. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Did you? I did. Why, so the editor would be really happy at the so, end? <laughs> so that you'd be like, 
what is he gonna do? Oh, <laughs> he keeps me on tenterhooks. He does. Okay, so this is this is your favorite Berta style button-up shirt that you've seen in past closet videos. Oh, you see? Yeah, you can see through to the skin because it's eyelid. Mm. Summery. We think we might add a little little zhuzh to the sleeves because you like, like them a little taller. Don't, I mean, shorter. Shorter, shorter. that is, don't you? A little shorter. Taller, shorter. Yeah. Well, so there it is. Rob got a black shirt. Got a black shirt. How do you feel about it? Super awesome. You love it? Amazing. You want to tell the people anything about it? It's summery. It's eyelid -y. You can see. Look at that. Whoosh. You see the stripes because I'm so reflective underneath <laughs> <laughs> see if i blush <laughs> now you can really see that's not difference. as reflective as this when you blush you're the color of the sunset I studio know. do you want to help me model a few more things <laughs> come on just a few more things if you could just grab that little that little pouch you see over there that cute little bow bag there you go Oh, it's the accessories portion of the video. Oh, it's a super accessory. Aren't you happy with your accessory? Is this mine? Well, it's the one that you're holding. It is the one I'm holding. Uh, yeah. This is the little bow mint bag. I've been having a bow mint these past few months. Mm, oh, yeah. a bow mint. You like that? I do. <laughs> yeah. It has a zipper, as Rob has just demonstrated. Mm. And you can make this bag right here with me. Just right here. Hmm. You could make this bag too, but I don't think he's gonna be making this bag unless you're surprising me for like a birthday or something. My birthday's coming in August. <laughs> I'm alerting you now. <laughs> this bag right here, I finished um, shortly after sewing up all of this black because I needed a break from black. Hmm. You know how I am with black. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is an upcycled skirt, Rob. Mm -hmm. This. Do you really know this was a skirt? Do you remember this as a skirt? I, let's go with yes. You remember this as a totally. skirt? Totally! This was your sister's skirt. I know. Yes, um, she sent it to me because she didn't want it anymore and I told her if you ever get rid of the skirt, please send it to me. It eventually ended up sort of falling apart at the seams and so I made it into this little this little luggage bag. Mm. Oh look, I got pens in hey, there. Hey, that's amazing. Yeah. And it's got a little sleeve for the for rolling along on the thing. That oh, like, yeah, the, that's the, very, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have handles here yet. Mm. I'm gonna fix that okay. soon. All right, well this was a riveting appearance by Rob. I guess you're <sighs> gone, you're released what? for the day. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm being very thoughtful. Oh, I was going to ask a question. Oh, go ahead. Are you going to put a bow on that bag for a bowment? What a good question, Rob. <laughs> Feeling so much love today. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put a bowment on this oh, bag, okay. but I like where your mind is going. Mm -hmm. I do. You can set your prop down now. I did. I set it down. This is all I've made for you while we've been here these six months. Is anybody surprised? Hashtag shocked oh no that's sad babe i'm sorry oh you seem very sorry so, so genuine yeah i know but don't i look fabulous you do look don't fabulous you love it? i do it's amazing you look great thanks so am i ever going to get a vest what vest i think it's a. Uh... <laughs> it's going into my stash mm -hmm. oh oh looky look oh my goodness hey Look at that. Let's just put it on, folks. Let's see. It really fits well. If only it had buttons and button holes. Why don't you just talk to the people for a minute? You know, folks, I love her. I do. And there's no butt to that. <laughs> However, buttonholes would be nice. What? You said I was going to get to talk and you came back in. There was some lint. I liked the lint. <laughs> I think that's all we have for today. Peace out. That is not. We have more clothes. Uh, okay, Rob. That's all I got Rob's for today. Rob's segment is done. Thank you, Rob. If this is up, peace. You. I'm going to be working on them buttonholes. Well, it's actually fortuitous that Rob just um, called me out about that vest because I realized there's, um, there's a piece that I forgot right here. Just raiding my stash, just going through it with this pause, with this mitts. It was so pretty before. Oh, wait, please. Okay, now it's pretty again. This little robe right here. This is also um one of my designs. She's not quite finished yet, much like Rob's vest, but oh, she feels so elegant on. Mm. Just, you know, if you've got your, you've got your little concert gown on, 
and it's like oh I gotta I, I can't I can't reveal my look to my public yet she needs a hem yeah as you can see there's a little little thread hanging down there but um she feels so good you know sometimes let me just get close into you let me just some confession time there's an evolution to a sewing project when you first start out it is the best thing that you've ever made and then somewhere along the way it starts to turn to and then you think this is and then somewhere along the way it goes back to the best thing that you've ever made through all of those steps i don't get defeated but i do sometimes put a project way far away for a minute and let it marinate because I'm mad at it. This was one of those things. Now I'm not mad at it in the slightest. So I'm gonna thank Rob for um, calling me out about the best because I, I forgot this was in the stash. Okay, enough of the noir sewing. Let's get into some Technicala. Uh -huh. This is about as far from noir as you can get as you can see in the wide shot this is way too long for me i had to sew it and i went through all the stages with it but when i got to the angry stage i didn't put it away i just kept slam sewing through it and i should have put this away and let it marinate because i'll tell you i'm mad about a couple of things on this this is a simplicity pattern. I'm not mad at the pattern per se. I'm mad at my choices on it. For example, right here, here, the collar. You see how the curve of the pattern matches or doesn't rather quite match the curve of the neckline. It makes it look like there's been an error in sewing to my eye. I do love the placement here. I do love the placements on the sleeves. However, right, right here, Per se, I feel a little bit like I've given myself a portal to my reproductive areas here. Mm -hmm. Going from the front to the back, I thought I was being real swift with the print placement. I wasn't. These curves should have kept going towards the back. I mean, or maybe not, because that might have given me another portal to my butt cheeks. Obviously, I can lose some length. That's not going to be a problem because... Now, luckily, this was a, a wax print cut, so I still have way more fabric that I can fix this with, and I will. I will fix it. I'm either going to open up this pattern at center front and make it a duster, or I'm going to remove the back panels completely, flip them, flip it and reverse it because wax print is saturated on both sides so I can use both sides of the fabric. That will mean the print is going to go the opposite way, relieve this twinning that is hurting my eyes so much. This right here is why it's always good to buy extra yardage if your wallet can handle it or if you really, really love the fabric and it's a directional print or a very, um, tricky print like this one. That's what happened with this next little ensemble I'm about to show you. Tell me, tell me this ain't giving you rich um, auntie vibes. Awesome lint. How about it? When I saw this floral print at my beloved Janky store in New York's garment district, I bought like 86 yards of it. Really, I should have bought the entire bolt. It was like $3 a yard and Come on, this is about as far from noir as you can get. And the insides have a little, little purple taffeta facing, also from Janky Store. The facings are all jacquard, a little jacquard. And that's from Chic Fabrics, another one of my favorites in the garment district. This again is my own robe pattern. Mm -hmm. But never fear, what's underneath is a pattern that y'all can actually buy. And maybe the robe pattern is something you're going to be able to buy soon as well. Underneath, we've got McCall's, okay? And here's the pattern right here. I'm linking all of this below for you guys. I had some issues with this dress. I had some issues. The first time I made this dress, I made it in a beautiful black viscose print right here and um it gave me some grief it gave me a lot of grief 
to be honest with you, and I wasn't sure if it was because of the year of our COVID pandemic 2020 that the grief was happening or if it was the pattern, but now that I've made it again and um, I still had grief, I'm giving it a little bit of side eye. I think it actually is the pattern. So if you want this look, be forewarned, just um, go over them instructions a couple of times. I know I always tell you guys that a pattern with a center front is very, very hackable and modifiable, can have modifications. Yeah, that's how you're gonna say that. This time I went the other way. This dress pattern has a center front button band. I removed the button band and I cut this dress center front on the fold and put in an invisible zipper in the back. And let me tell you what, she real invisible. I rarely sew up a pattern as drafted. I modify almost everything that I sew to fit my own personal whims and needs and wants. That brings me to my next segment of what I've sewn in these past few months in the Sunset Studio. All of this paper, okay? All of this paper right here, which doesn't look like as much as it is. Camera is not adding 10 pounds to this paper and it should. These are my own sewing patterns that I have been testing and reworking and modifying and zhuzhing for you guys because they're going to be released soon and by soon that could mean two months it could mean two weeks it ain't gonna mean a year because i can't anymore i need these out in life because for example all of this right here these are bodices that i've been testing for you guys there's gonna be a gown there's gonna be a robe there's gonna be a little floaty dress there's gonna be a shirt you know what let me just i'm gonna show you a couple sneak peeks just a couple little sneak peeks okay how cute is she, huh? She's so cute. You're not gonna be able to tell too much from this because of the cacophonous print that I chose. I'm gonna link the designer of these prints down in the description box because her prints are just joy. How much joy is this, huh? This is a modification on the last shirt that you just saw right here is this beautiful little floaty dress. You guys, this dress is so cute on. I wish I could model it for you, but you know, I don't wanna give too much away. I don't wanna give too much away. The bodices and the bows that you saw in the beginning of the video, that's gonna be one of them too, all right? Okay, you know what? It's time for me to slip into something a little more insane. How about it? Are you seeing the need for the hairstyle now? Where, uh, where my vibe was? This ridiculous thing is like two giant rectangles and two smaller ones. And you might recognize this fabric from my leg warmers video right here where um, I made Rob uh, do a little dance, make a little love, in essence, get down tonight. I think that's everything I've sewn over these past months. To be honest with you, my output is usually a lot larger than what's on the rack right here. But again, a lot of this sewing has been to release new patterns out into the wild. And you know what? You know what strikes me? This might seem like a more attainable output for five or six months of sewing. I want to encourage you to shoot for the output that you can handle. If you've made one dress, one shirt in the six months that I've been sewing up here and you enjoyed the sewing of that item, that's all that matters. You don't have to have a rack full of clothing every month, okay? You need to do you. I need to get back to my other love, which is, is sewing. I mean, I love being ridiculous and gabbing with you guys, but like, I also love sewing. I guess the first thing I should do is sew those buttonholes. Peace out, everybody. Emphasis on peace. Let me clean up the, the tornado that I've created. Bye.